a weekend. Premier Boxing Champions ending the summer with the bang, and boy, did we do that. The event promoted by TGB Promotions. Want to thank the media, the fans for spending your Labor Day weekend with us in our main event, Andy Ruiz Jr., victorious over Luis King Kong Ortiz in what was an eventful fight, certainly very exciting, and the fans came out to show their support. We cannot thank the fans all over the world, specifically here in Los Angeles, enough for their passion and their support for them coming in and really making tonight a special night in regards to boxing history for Los Angeles. Co-main event, Isaac Pitbull Cruz, a guy that I love watching fight, a guy that's getting better, a guy that went out there and smashed Eduardo Ramirez. And here's the bottom line. Nobody does that to Eduardo Ramirez, and Isaac Cruz did that tonight. And not only that, but I loved how much Isaac Cruz's popularity is just growing and soaring. Also, we saw a draw between Abner Mares, Miguel Flores. Abner Mares coming back to the ring after a four-year-plus layoff really came out and gave a valiant effort against Miguel Flores, who proved that he belonged at this level. To open up the pay-per-view broadcast, we saw Edwin De Los Santos upsetting and shocking one, Jose Valenzuela handing him the first loss of his professional career. What a battle that was as Edwin De Los Santos on late notice comes out and gets the victory over one, Jose Valenzuela. But the man of the hour in the main event of the evening coming out before the hometown fans here in Los Angeles, the former unified heavyweight champion of the world. Three knockdowns in route to a unanimous decision victory over Luis King Kong Ortiz. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the victorious, the destroyer, Andy Ruiz Jr. Andy, give me your thoughts. How are you feeling? What a moment, what energy, what an atmosphere here tonight. Uh, what are your thoughts? Man, I just want to give God all the glory, man, because without him, I wouldn't have won this victory. It was a hell of a fight, man. It was tough. That guy's hella tough, man, but I had to be smart. I had to be cautious. I was waiting a little bit too much for to counterpunch. I felt when I had him hurt, I should have started throwing more combinations. But like I said, he hits hard, so I had to be more cautious and wait until I could counterpunch good. If you have questions from the media, by all means, raise your hand and wait for Sam Jackson, one of our esteemed publicists, yeah. along with Kelly Swanson, to ask the question and give us your media platform. Go ahead. Steve? Steven Correno, KOR Sports. Congratulations, Andy. It was Thank a you, man. great victory. You were moving to your right a lot into his left hand, but I felt like when you went forward is when you had a lot of success catching him and dropping him and things like that. Why? Why Was he making you go to his left, or was that part of the strategy to... To move to, the the to strategy move. was trying to go to the right and to the left, trying to confuse him a bit, feigning him. That's why it took him a long time for him to to load up because he knew that I was in a counter punch too. So the more the more I moved to the left, to my left, he would counter. So I started moving to the right, and that's when I started countering. And I was waiting for him to throw the 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 left hand so I could kick, uh, I could throw my right hand, and it worked beautifully. Andy, first of all, man, congratulations on your victory. How satisfied are you? What would you give your performance? What grade would you give it? I think I'll give it a B, man, because I did foul a little, a little off the distance. And, you know, I was coming out of a, a year layoff. So I thought I did pretty good, especially fighting a, a veteran, a, a strong veteran that hits hard. And he was pretty smart, you know. And, and my first time fighting a lefty. And a lot of people were saying, he was actually saying that he was going to knock me down and all that. But he didn't even do that one, one time. And I just thank God that, that I, got to, I got to drop him and... I couldn't close, the, close the, the TKO or anything like that, but I got the victory like I told everybody. Eh, Andy, qué gusto saludarte. Eh, la primera pregunta, eh, creo que es el peleador que más te ha exigido en tu carrera. ¿Estás de acuerdo conmigo? Sí, claro que sí, porque era un estilo diferente. Era mi primera vez peleando con un zurdo y la neta yo pensaba que hicimos... Hicimos bien, pero podía hacer más y podía acabar la pelea, pero estaba cu cuidado, estaba pensando de, de más, pero como le dije, agarré la victoria y gracias a Dios. Mensaje para México, por favor, Andy Ruiz, mensaje para México, que estuvo paralizado. Dicen que no había perros en las calles. 
Claro que sí, man. Gracias a Dios que agarramos la victoria y yo quiero ser campeón del mundo otra vez y por eso entrenamos duro para esta, esta pelea. Triunfamos bien. Yo sé que era una pelea dura, pero agarramos la victoria. Gracias a Dios. Well, uh, there were two questions in there by Ernesto. The first one was about the difficulty of the fight. And, you know, he was, he was softball and he made me fight really hard. I had to adjust. I had to had to make counters, but I ended up coming out on top. And my message to Mexicans out there is that I thank them very much. Thank you for your support. It was a hard fought victory, and I'm very thankful with all of you. Andy. Hold on, guys, if you wait for the mic, and then uh, by all means, uh, go ahead. Andy, aquí Gonzalo Alvarado de CNN en Español. Felicidades. Gracias. Eh, Andy, en el segundo y séptimo round, Mirábamos que ya eh, tenías la victoria y ahora sí ya en, tu, en, 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 el, en los guantes básicamente. En la conferencia de prensa que dices previo a la pelea decías que no iban a llegar al doceavo round, que se iba a definir, a definir eh, quizás antes del doceavo round. En el segundo round tenías todos los elementos ahí para doblegarlo y llevarte la victoria. ¿Qué pasó ahí? ¿Por qué hubo esa... No hubo esa, esa definición completa. Pues yo no pensé que todavía estaba muy golpeado. Yo sé que lo tumbé, pero todavía tenía que estar cuidado, tenía que estar inteligente y él es un veterano y contragolpea bien. So, todavía me quedé contento, me quedé en paz y chequito y pues esperaba por, por el otro counter. Y gracias a Dios que agarramos el, el otro counter, lo tumbamos, pero... Como les dije, todo, a todos iba a agarrar la victoria, si era knockout o los 12 rounds. Well, like I always said, it was going to be either the knockout or 12 rounds. Either way, I was going to come up with a win. That's what I did, right? So, in a way, in that second round that you mentioned, as far as the question was, if, if Andy thought that he had Ortiz in his grasp in that second round when he knocked him down, and there were a couple of counter moves that I felt that, that were very effective, And I thought that that was a great round for me, but I also knew that I had to be cautious, that it wasn't over by any stretch of the imagination, and that in, in a way that allowed me to continue being strong throughout the fight. Next question. Uh, Andy, back here. Marcus Hayes, Fight Hub TV. Uh, first, congratulations on your victory tonight. Well Thank fought, you. Andy, you, you and Ortiz both. Uh, Andy. After the fight, I met up and talked to Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder said basically that he was recognizing that all roads look like they're leading to you and him locking horns, and he welcomes the challenge. Uh, how, how open are you to uh, fighting Deontay Wilder, and will you be cheering for him on the 15th? Of course, man. That, that's, that's one of the dream fights that I always had, just like Ortiz. And it's just another step closer to get that WBC bout that I've always been praying and wishing for. And... You know, thanks to God, we got this victory. Hopefully, he gets his victory in October, and we can make this fight happen. He's 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 under Al Heyman just like me, so it's a fight where it could be easily made. And I'm ready, man. I want to stay busy. I want to go straight to the gym again because, like I said, I didn't feel at my hundred percent, but we got the victory. Oh, wait, wait for the mic to Eso get to you. Eso iba a preguntarte, Please. Andy, aquí Saúl Rodríguez de Telemundo. Ahora, después de esta victoria aquí, ¿qué sigue después de esta victoria? Pues gracias a Dios que agarramos la victoria y para atrás para el gimnasio, porque necesito más, a, a, pues, a entrenar más, porque sí duré un rato sin pelear y lo sentí eso, pero... Como dije, agarré la victoria y pues ya estamos listos para a buscar otro rival. Si es el, um, el Wilder o si él es alguien más, nomás quiero estar ocupado y pues estar peleando más. Uh, the question was, what's next for you after this win? And Andy was saying, hey, it's back to the gym for me because I felt rusty after, you know, during this fight, after not having fought for a while. I know I need to be more active. That's the goal. So here I come. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be more active from now on. And whoever comes next, Wilder or the opponent of choice, then I'm going to be ready for whoever comes my way. Next question. ESPN. Felicidades. Dos preguntas. La primera, ¿cuál para ti fue la clave para esta victoria? Y la segunda... Dijiste previo a la pelea que veríamos otra vez a ese Andy que fue campeón contra Joshua. ¿Te sentiste de esa manera arriba del ring? Sí, yo creo que traje el, el gordito Power otra vez. Uh -huh. uh, hice lo mejor para ganar esta pelea. Era fuerte. Sí me, sí me pegó con unos buenos troncazos, pero gracias a Dios que los recibí bien. Por el peso yo creo que tenía y me sentí explosivo y estaba esperando que él se abriba. So, 
me esperé que él tiraba y yo, yo contragolpeara y así es como ganamos, ganamos la pelea, a estar, a estar cuidado y pa, paciente. Well, it was, it was definitely a, a, a tough fight. I felt that I was explosive, but Ortiz also, you know, he, he took some hard punches. I took some hard punches. Unfortunately, I was able to withstand. So in, in the end, it was just a very hard fight for both of us. Andy, feliz, felicidades en tu victoria. ¿Cómo te sentiste en el ring después de no pelear por tanto tiempo? ¿Cómo, cómo te sentiste? Pues me sentí un poco afuera de la distancia por un año y algo sin pelear, pero hice todo lo que hicimos en el gimnasio, en el sparring. Um, teníamos un campamento de cuatro meses y hice todo lo que, pues lo que dijeron mi esquina, el capatío, el Osuna, mi papá y, y logramos esa victoria, pero era difícil, no estoy diciendo que era fácil o nada, tenía que pensar mucho, tenía que estar en cuidado, porque es un veterano que sí pega duro, si miras mi ojo, pega duro, <risa> pero hice todo lo posible para ganar esta victoria. I did everything in my power to earn this win, the question was what the key was, For that, victor for that victory, and, and like I said before, I felt rusty, I knew that the lack of activity in the last year and a half was going to be tough for me, but just look at my eye, he's a very big puncher, and I was able to withstand his power, that was, that was the biggest thing, and thanks to uh, Alfredo Osuna, to my dad, to everyone that supported me during my training, I was able to Capatio. come out on top tonight. Andy. Primeramente, felicidades por la victoria, una gran victoria. Quería preguntarte, mm, recuerdo en el 2019 pesaste 268 libras en tu primera en, en esa gran sorpresa contra Anthony Joshua. Hoy también, para esta pelea, estuviste en las 268 libras. Eh, hazme una comparación en esas 268 libras de hoy a las de Anthony Joshua en la primera pelea y como segunda pregunta, si a partir de ahora cuando vayas al ring sería un error estar en las 250 aproximadamente. No, pues yo me sentí bien a estar en las 268 libras, pero era diferente cuando yo peleé con Anthony Joshua primero, ya ya peleé eso, ya estaba ya estaba listo para la pelea porque ya estaba peleando cada cada tres meses, o so ya estaba listo y en esta pelea era diferente, por eso me quería poner a, a 268 igual para estar fuerte, para estar a, rápido y a recibir esos golpes porque los bombazos sí están, sí están fuertes de los pesos pesados, pero no, yo creo que me sentí bien y no creo que voy a cambiar nada, nomás a, a trabajar más en el gimnasio y a pelear más porque sí me sentía fuera de la distancia. The, the, the question was about how he felt weight-wise now compared to the Joshua fight. And Andy was saying that the difference, the biggest key that, the, that there was between now and then was that back then against Joshua, I had been fighting every three months. I felt ready, I felt sharp, not this time around. So I wanted to put on that weight so I could be able to withstand those big shots that come in the heavyweight division. And I felt really good. I feel no need to change anything up uh, in the future going forward. Uh, Rich Adams from Behind the Gloves. You said that Ortiz hit harder. Who hit harder, Joshua or Ortiz? Um, I think they both hit hard, man. I think Anthony Joshua caught me when I didn't see a punch, and I think he put me down like that. But with Luis Ortiz, I was cautious. I was looking at all the punches that he would hit me. So there's a punch that he got me good, and I just seen it straight coming, boom, boom, and I was like, damn. And um, but they all hit hard, man. They all fucking hit hard, and I feel. The, the advantage that I took that punch well was because of the way that, that I had on. I think if I would have been at 250 something, I think he would have dropped me. And it would have been a, a fight of me getting dropped and me dropping him. Or, But I felt, I felt strong. I felt explosive. And I was being a little too cautious because, well, he hits hard, you know? So I had to be smart. Chris, con TV Boxeo, Andy, después de la pelea, este, Deontay Wilder se subió arriba del ring, ¿eso te sorprendió? Y también, ¿qué fue lo que te dijo Deontay Wilder? No, pues me felicitó y me dijo que buena pelea, y, uh, pero sí, me gustaría pelear con él. Si os quiere, él gana la victoria también en octubre con, contra Robert. Um, esa pelea se puede ser fácil porque estamos con Al Heyman, los otros dos, o so, 
si él quiere pelear conmigo, está bien, porque es una, es una pelea más cerca para yo agarro el WBC Bell y quiero ser campeón del mundo otra vez, o por eso quiero ser todo lo posible para, para ser campeón del mundo y traer esos cinturones para atrás, para México. Y no los voy a dejar abajo, ya me voy a poner las pilas, la neta. <risa> So the question was, did it surprise you when Deontay Wilder came onto the ring and what did he tell you? Deontay told me that hey, I fought a good fight, that congratulations, and like I mentioned before, we're both under a Heyman. It's a fight that can definitely happen, but now I gotta get going. I gotta, I gotta you know, move and just be as ready as I can be because I want the WBC belt back. I need that world title. That's my ultimate goal and that's what I'm aiming for from now on. Andy, at Mohammed Mubarak with EURweb.com. You developed a huge fan base here in Southern California, and I see one of your biggest fans is sitting right next to you. Hmm. How much of the cheering in the crowd affected you during the fight? It didn't really affect me, man. Um, yeah, I got my, my manager right here, my son. <laughs> <laughs> But when, when we're walking down to the ring, there was a guy that fell in front of me. It was pretty crazy. And they had to push him away and all that. But I was just still focused, man, still focused and just praying to God, please, God, give me this victory. And the whole time through, I was walking through that tunnel, I'm just praying and praying to get this victory and just thinking about all the stuff that I did in the gym and just thinking I got to be smart. I got to be cautious. I got to be careful with with his left hands or his over or his overhooks. So. Um, I think we did a good, a good plan. I think um, you guys seen something different than I usually do. Come forward and throw combinations. I try to box around and counter punching. I counter punch uh, counter puncher because that's exactly how he wins the fights. And God willing, we we got that victory. All right. Well, at this time, I want to give Andy the floor for final comments. But one half of the WBC heavyweight title eliminator is complete. Andy Ruiz victorious over Luis King Kong Ortiz, October 15th. You heard it. Deontay Wilder, Robert Hellenius on Fox Sports, PBC pay-per-view. Andy Ruiz, your final thoughts. And uh, I'll give it maybe over to your manager, however the case may be, to give your final thoughts on tonight's performance. So um, while we were walking down the little thing, when the guy fell, um, he hit my head and stuff hard. Yeah, he did. <laughs> you got a and, chin like your dad, I tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I just wanted to say thanks to God that we got this victory and stuff. I was nervous and stuff, and yeah. All right, congratulations, Andy Ruiz, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you very much to the media. Thank you to the fans. We will see you next month, October 15th, on Fox Sports PBC pay-per-view. Deontay Wilder, Robert Hellenius. But congratulations to Andy Ruiz, Jr., ladies and gentlemen. Have a Thank great rest man. of your Labor Day weekend.